Hey guys, Thong here. Welcome back to new vlog. Now today, uh, sadly, I didn't make the Bolton Nottingham Forest game. Obviously, we lost 3-0. I want to speak a little bit about that. I'm a bit upset with how we played. I don't think we showed enough um, and they beat us fair and square. They played better football. We played terrible. Uh, that's enough because today, I'm going to be going to the game, which the only game is on tonight in the championship, QPR versus Aston Villa. Now, QPR, they've won three of their last four. It's all going a bit up for them. Um, they're playing well, they're doing well, and they're at home today. And they're playing against a team, Aston Villa, who haven't had a great record recently. They've had a new manager come in. They just lost to Norwich. It could go either way today. It really depends on which team turns up. We're playing Aston Villa next Friday. So you could, you could sort of say that I'm scouting for Bolton. All right, we'll have a look. See who's good for Aston Villa. See how they play under Dean Smith. And um, we'll see how they do. Because obviously next match they play Bolton. And obviously I'll be at the game. So that'll be decent. Let's go. <laughs> Dylan, <laughs> how long you been a how long you been a QPR season ticket holder for? Um, Since I was about six, yeah. Fair enough. So, how do you think you're going to do today against Aston Villa? We're going to win tonight. Right. You uh, sure? Yeah, we're on form at the moment. I predict a uh, two-nil win. Our defence is very good. So yeah, I think I think we're going to do it tonight. So, yeah. Fair enough, mate. I think we're going to win. So, so why are you saying sure? Hey. How are you so sure? How are you so sure? It's Aston Villa. Yeah, three clean sheets in the last four. We're going to win. And they lost their last game. New yeah. manager syndrome. I don't know. Yeah. But we're going to win tonight. <laughs> Villa! Come on! <laughs> Villa fans. Yeah. <laughs> Aston Villa fans taking up these two sections. Very good support for Friday night. Coming from Birmingham, fair play. You know, the Aston Villa fa uh, players are clapping the fans. There's Alan Hutton, ex Bolton player. About to play QPR. Jack Grealish, can he end this goal drought? We're about to find out. Let's see what happens. I haven't given my score prediction yet on the board, but I'm going to say 1 1. We're winning all day long. We're winning this game. The QPR fans are sure. I'm not too sure myself. Aston Villa sport is very good. Oh, he's got, he's got it on me. No, I can't be wearing that. I can't be wearing that. I've got to stick to bottom. I can't be wearing the scarf. But yeah, very good support. And I think they might kick on, motivate the players to get a goal. Can't be seeing that stuff around here. Here's Freeman on the ball, ball's in, heads up by Twanzebe. Still in. Here's Freeman on the ball. Hits it. Good save from the Aston Villa goalkeeper. There it is, a wanker. There it is, a wanker. Wait, wait, wait for them to quieten out. Freeman on the ball. In the box. Hutton diving in. Gets nowhere with it. Essay on the ball. Shoots. No! Good ball in from Jack Grealish there. Oh, here we go. Dangerous ball. QPR have got a free kick on the 8th top corner. We'll see. QPR have a free kick. Edge of the box, sort of. Free kick. 
kick to come for now, Aston Villa. Oh my god, it's hit the post. Grealish has just hit the post with a free kick. It would have ended this goal drought, but it's not gone in. Yeah, but it never was gone. Aston Villa fans, I think they didn't see it because of the wall. It's about the 30th minute now. Aston Villa been so far all over this game, getting a lot of chances, having a lot of possession. I think QPR will wait for that time and then pounce on them. It could happen. kicked off between Villa and QPR but in that tunnel it, something will happen. I'd be surprised if Terry's not involved. Yeah I'm, I'm sure John Terry something to do with this but I saw referees running over and something's going on in there. It is probably kicking off in that tunnel right now but we have no idea. Half time QPR 1 Aston Villa nil. Very good half well good half QPR very solid defending Aston Villa were on the attack a lot of possession QPR defended well and they took their chance they won a very good one on one opportunity they took it and uh, that's what separates the teams right now that one very good one on one opportunity it was in how's that miss? I'm unsure how that didn't end up in the back of the net two Aston Villa players getting there first getting a touch on harder to miss and they've done just that and missed. Greenish here plays it out to El Mohamed. Oh. Don't know what El Mohamed was thinking there. And a very good chance there to even shoot. And he goes for a cross in it. It didn't go out to plan. Villa fans won that goal. Greenish to take the corner. QPR fans behind here. Do not like him, it is clear. Todger takes it, goes up to Grealish. Can something happen here? Booze in the crowd. Grealish, oh. QPR player blocks it. Aston Villa fans are getting loud here. And it's Wings for Rangers. Wings for Rangers FC. In the Aston Villa end. Here for the cricket, he's only here for the cricket. In the Estimilla end, there's somewhere like some sort of cricket jersey. And uh, QPR fans sing, he's only here for the cricket. Quality. Easy, easy. Greenish. Fucking nail him. Balassi, onside. Shoots, great save. 
Got down low and quick. Blas, he's got it again. Shoots again. Another good save. Lovely has had a very good game so far. He deserves to shoot. He's been, he's been important, hasn't he? Good, good. He's, he's done well ever since your, your, your main people left. Well, we conceded, uh, I think, 30 goals in his first four games. And now, if we hold on to this, we've four clean sheets in five. And he's an academy boy, so. Yeah, some pretty interesting facts right there. 89th minute, McGinn's put the ball in, and he keeps it. One of the last kicks of the game, Aston Villa have a corner kick. The ball's in. Grealish, the last man, plays out wide to McGinn. McGinn puts the ball in. Codger heads it backwards. Oh, yeah. He's got a free kick there. Nothing given. The fans are loving it. Congratulations to Green Smart Rangers. They've done exactly what they needed to do. They've held on to Benson Brilliant. Uh, they both have had a very good game. And, uh, yeah, they got the win. Villa, they tried. Second half, they weren't good enough. But it's having one now. Hope you enjoy this video. Please like.